Hey, good morning everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So I am heading to Lurie Children's Hospital to take part in a mass casualty drill. <laughs> Sounds pretty crazy, doesn't it? Coincidentally, this is also the first day of classes for our second year. Uh, it's a great way to start it off, I think so. Essentially, what's happening though is we are volunteering as different mock patients uh, in the event of this mass shooting that happened at a music festival nearby. So we're going to be assigned different patient roles and then they're gonna run the drill to uh, practice what they would do in this scenario. So the role that I was assigned is a 15 year old with uh, gunshot wounds, the hand and wrist actively hemorrhaging. And then we get also assigned a moulage of makeup and appearance that we're going to have. So I am have multiple gunshot wounds and profusely bleeding and intoxicated and have a shirt soaked in beer. So uh should be fun. Alright, I am all moulaged up. This is my gunshot wound profusely bleeding some underage drinking was apparently going on since I'm only 15. They're just soaked in beer. All right, let me show you some of the other victims. Hi, I am a 25 year old mom. My infant, who I fell on, after they find out my infant's fine, I also have a gunshot wound to my left shoulder. I will become unconscious later. Hi, I'm, I'm Angie, and I'm um, a 15 year old with a gunshot wound to my neck. Um, I'm gonna be um, like having sh shortness of breath and something called strider. So I'm gonna be gasping for air, like. <laughs> All right, we're going to head to the designated entrance point for my character. Okay, good news, we all survived. <laughs> so that was good. Um, what were your impressions of it? It was fun. Um, yeah. The team was very well equipped to handle us. Mm -hmm. um, Eric got brain surgery. I did get brain surgery. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's very exciting. Getting Will from room to room. They know what they're doing. Yeah. Nice. Hopefully we'll never end up in that situation. Yes. All right, and now we head to class. The first fir class. First, first time we're our classes all together. All right, let's go. See ya. So now I just wanted to take some time and reflect about my experience in this mass casualty drill. So I'm going to start by explaining what happened after we left the orientation area. So basically, we left from there, I went to the entrance point of where I was stationed. From there, we waited until our designated time when we were supposed to go and report to the security guards. And from there, uh, the security team directed me up to the ED triage nurses station and there they began assessing me uh, in terms of how severe my injury was. Originally I was coded as a level green because my bleeding was controlled but then at some point in the middle of the drill my observer upgraded me to a level red and that was because apparently all of a sudden my uh, the blood in my arm began spurting out. So once I was designated as a red, they gave me a tourniquet around my arm and then they rushed me into the hospital beds within the ED department. I think this is a valuable training exercise for the whole hospital. They took it quite seriously. Uh, for example, they shut down all the OR rooms during that hour when we were conducting this drill. So it was a very important issue that they wanted to be trained on. There was lots of teamwork involved from the security team to the nurses to all the doctors and staff. Uh, it was really cool to see how all those different parts worked together. And then at the end of this whole drill, we had a debrief where people shared about things that went well and things that didn't go so well. Uh, and they really reveal opportunities for how we can do better. Uh, for example, one thing that was brought up was a better way to communicate to the surgeons for how to recruit them to certain rooms. 
So overall, I'm really glad I got to be a part of this training exercise. It was a lot of fun to be with my classmates uh, in the moulage and acting. Uh, and it was cool to see from the healthcare perspective how they, uh, how they approach training drills for situations like this. All right, that is all. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.